Hello, and welcome to this short five minute video on round tips. To begin with, I'm gonna start with my first example, which is I want to put a round on these three edges. So holding control, I pick all three edges. As I make the round bigger, you can see I've got a nice corner sphere transition at the intersection of these three rounds. But as I make this transition bigger, and, or as I make the round bigger, and the transition intersects with the hole, you can see the corner sphere changes to an intersection. So I don't want this, I actually still want my corner sphere. So how am I going to get my corner sphere and why is it doing it? So if I go up into the dashboard and click on pieces, you can see it's showing me five pieces that make up this round set. If I hover over each one, it highlights or pre-highlights the geometry that is created by that particular piece. And you can see in these two, piece two and three, there are these little sliver pieces that are created. I don't actually want these, and this is what's causing the problem. So if I come in and say exclude those two pieces, the system then recreates my corner sphere for it. So that was the first tip. Second tip that I want to show you is I want to create a round on this edge, but a different size round on this edge with it blending, having the transition blend at this area here. So the problem is, by default, when you select an edge, we automatically round the tangent chain. I don't want that to happen in this case. So to prevent that, if I hold shift down and pick the same edge again, it's just going to round that edge. So now I can add a second round onto this edge. So I can do that either by right mouse buttoning and saying add set, or, that with, or just pick the edge again. So as before, it's picked the tangent chain. So if I hold shift and pick the same edge again, it then creates a round just on that edge with a round here that I can change. And if I click on this round set, I can change this one as well. And you can see the system is automatically creating a nice, clean, smooth blend transition between those two different radius rounds. So the third and final tip that I want to show you is putting a round on this edge here. So I'm going to round that edge, make it uh, a little bit bigger. And you can see what it's doing is it's created the round for me and it's extended the round out, which has caused these two surfaces here to be extended. There's nothing wrong with this round, but in this case, I don't want it to actually do that. What I want is the round to disappear down to this single vertex. So how am I going to do that? Well, as before, if I go to pieces, you can see I've got a single piece. If I click on it, it now puts a little drag handle at the end of that piece for me. I can select that drag handle and move mm -hmm. it down. And you can see it snaps to the next transition. In this case, it started with a, the equivalent of a surface surface round. Now it's done an edge surface round, and if I pull it down again, it'll snap to the intersection vertex, which then switches to an edge edge round. So now I've created my round, but there's a constant round here that transitions down to this particular vertex. Thank you.